When I saw Bruno's picture, it felt so drawn to him. I was like, this is our cat. He stands differently, his little polydactyl paws. The original post was starting to go viral. I called the adoption hotline, which took 45 minutes to get through. They asked me to go ahead and send in an official application on the website. I was like, mm, nah, I can't wait that long. I knew though that that wasn't gonna be enough to catch their attention. to be extra, because that's what his post was all about, how he's extra. They reached out right away saying they got the video and asked if we wanted to come meet him the next morning. He was awesome. Rotund ball of love. We loved him. He was more than I expected. And it was really hard to leave. We just wanted to take him home. Hi, Lauren. It's Lynn from Wrigley Rescue. So I got the call again when I was at work. Very good. So I'm just calling to let you know that you have been approved to adopt Bruno. Freaked out. I was jumping up and down. Yes, he is yours. It's happening. It's been a really long night here. And it's happening. Oh my gosh. This is it, Bruno. You're home. Oh my gosh. What do you think of your new castle? They described him in that original post as extra. And that's for us. Just everything a normal cat does times two. He stands up anytime Laura and I are making food. Or really anytime that he now wants just about anything. He does it when he's hungry, he does it when he needs to go to the bathroom, and if your back is away to him and he's not getting enough attention, all of a sudden he'll turn around and he'll be up on his headlines. He's really a really communicative cat. Like, he's trying to tell us something. The other thing that he does all the time, flops down on the ground and rolls around on his back. He likes to have water bowls in every room of the house that are next to his food bowl. Half the time I'll turn around and he's literally just looking outside, kind of like an old man. He has this real personality. Our life with him is just better. 